So the real depth and apparent depth refractive index experiment. And then a few questions for you guys to do. So the first thing you do is you'd have a glass block there on the left hand side. And we know the refractive index is equal to real depth over apparent depth. So what you do is you put um, a pin underneath it. And then you look down from above. And then what you'll see is that the pin appears to be less deep. Then you'd use a search pin on the left hand side. So an identical pin. And you'd put it next to the glass block. And you'd move it up and down until you think that that search pin is where the image of the um, the pin underneath the block is. So basically the, the arrow on the left, you'd move that up and down until you think that the, the size of that equals the size of the pin as looked at through the glass block. Then you measure your two depths using a meter stick, apparent depth and real depth, and then you divide one by the other, the big one over the small one, and that will give you the refractive index. Now you can do this with water as well. You would just put the pin inside a beaker of water, then you'd look down, the pin would appear to be less deep, and then you'd use a search pin outside the water, move it up and down, and when that pin is the same size as uh, as you think to the pin's image in the water, um, that's where the apparent depth is. Measure real depth, measure apparent depth, job done. All right, once more. So place the pip, uh, paper clip beneath the glass block, look down, and use a search pin to find the position of the image. Measure the real depth and uh, apparent depth using a meter stick. Now from here I'd ask you to do a few of the questions in the textbook. There are the solutions to them and if you have any problems come back to me then.